What is up, YouTube? Comic Brains here with a uh, Comic Brain uh, entry for Airborne Sapper Comic Fan. He had an awesome, awesome video uh, idea for his uh, his 200 sub contra contest. So big congrats to you, man! Huge congrats. Uh, you're way past that now, and you're just gonna suppress more and more. So uh, if you guys aren't sub to him, most we'll definitely get on it. And uh, he's just an all overall another awesome YouTuber for this community. Loves his pops, loves his uh, his hip hop variants, and uh, Dragon Ball Z fan, which I love. So it's uh, that's so cool. So most definitely, big congrats to you, man! And here is my support and my video for your contest. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm just getting over cold. But anyway, uh, his. Uh, Contest was to create your own, your very own uh, Comic Con, and uh, this was. I had so much fun. Uh, I've been thinking about this for a while. Uh, hopefully, uh, I'm not too late for this video. But either or, I'm still going to do it for you. Make a video for you. And so for number uh, number one, 18 above, uh, two was the uh, sub to all the people you had linked, and most definitely did that. And number three, we can start heading into the big questions he had. Uh, number one, go ahead and name your Comic Con. So my Comic Con would be called the Galaxy Art Comic Con. Most definitely I would have a variety of artists and it would just be really artistic and that's what I want and that's what I love and I think everyone else would really enjoy this too. So uh, most definitely a little bit oriented for the uh, older collectors and you know... Um, oh, it would probably be well around, but more for like the older audiences, but most definitely it's a comic con. So there'd be something for everything for everybody. So galaxy art comic con would be my headline or my title for my two headliners. Obviously got to have the, um, great legend, Michael Turner. Um, I don't have any books. Um, they're all upstairs, but anyway, most definitely got to have Michael Turner. And number two, one time exclusive only uh, showing, I'd have Steve Ditko. I would most definitely get him out of his house and do like a two hour uh, open panel on questions and, you know, have him just do signings. And I would really like to see him do something before, you know, before he passes away. I know he's not really big into any of that, but. Uh, I know a bunch of fans would really appreciate just be able to see him and be able to ask some questions and maybe even get like an autograph. You know, it'd be his only time he'd be able to sign anything. So it would be really crazy to say you have a Steve Ditko autograph. So those are my two headliners. Um, number three, uh, name three uh, writers or artists. So obviously got to have Frank Miller. Awesome. Um, and Joe Benitez, most definitely got to have those two guys. And they're both excellent writers and artists. So really, uh, be really exciting to have both those guys there. Um, so on my third artist, I went a different route. Uh, I have a lot of tattoos, probably like 35, maybe 35% 35 of my body is covered in tattoos. So uh, I would love to have one of my favorite tattoo artists at this uh, Comic Con. Uh, you guys might recognize him. His name's Nico Tardo. He was on um, um, Hurtado. He uh, he was on. He did stuff with Kat Von D and stuff. But his artwork and his portraits are just freaking phenomenal. And he's really known for. I'll go ahead and show some stuff. This is some of his Day of the Dead uh, tattoo work, and his it's just freaking awesome. His his artwork is just freaking phenomenal so i would really love to have that guy at my comic con so i think that would be freaking awesome um so my movie my movie list um got the girlfriend to collaborate with me too so uh my movie cast i would really love to have would be the cast from the raid 2 this movie is freaking awesome one of the most Iconic martial arts, hard-hitting, action-packed movie I've seen in a long time. If you guys haven't seen this, check out the trailer. Get it. It's like 10 bucks at Best Buy. 
This movie just kicks ass. It's a foreign movie, but it's just freaking awesome. So that would be my movie. And The Girlfriend chose Pirates of the Caribbean, which would be perfect, especially with the new movie that's coming out. So that would be that would be really awesome. It'd be really fun to have those um, those guys collaborating. TV shows, uh, most definitely Batman animated series. Most definitely, I think that would be so cool. One of the greatest animated series out there. Uh, next to the X-Men. But I went with Batman. I think that was uh, a little bit more enjoyable for everybody. So it would be really cool to do a, like an open cast of those guys reading like scripts and stuff. Reading each other's script work. I think that would be really fun. And especially Mark Hamill as a Joker. It would just be really fun. And uh, Girlfriend chose uh, the originals. Uh, at first, um, I was like, yeah, it's good. It's good. Hopefully it's uh, just a little girly, but it was actually a lot better than I thought. So uh, I've been watching that series with uh, with with her, and it's just been it's been a good series. I really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. It's uh, it's really uh, ruthless. I would have to say that would be my word for that show. So pretty good. Pretty good show. That would be a really good cast too. So I think that would open the variety of people that come to the con. Uh, so for uh, wrestlers, uh, not really big into wrestling, but growing up, I really loved watching Rey Mysterio. So I think that would be really cool to have like a ring and have him do like open lessons and teaching people like fun twirly and flip tricks. I think that would be really cool. I think that would be uh, pretty entertaining. Uh, two bands. Uh, I think that was question number seven. Two bands. Um, I would choose Lupe Fiasco and Aloe Black. I um, really like that mellow kind of jazz hip hop era. So that's what I really like. And I think that would be really cool for like a Saturday evening event uh, for the Comic Con. I think that would be really cool. So that is uh, most of the questions. And the last one, what would be uh, your create your exclusive pop? Uh, so I had the girl create a Funko Pop for this contest. And uh, it was pretty funny. She came up with a pretty good one. So the uh, – oops, sorry about that. So the uh, Funko Pop that she came up with would be the Bogart Snape. So it would be uh, Severus Snape. But he would be wearing uh, Neville's grandmother's clothes. <laughs> and uh, Neville uses the, uh, the ridiculous spell to turn his worst fear into something funny. And obviously Neville and Harry Potter really feared Severus Snape. So I thought that would be really cool. It would be really funny Funko Pop. And to throw in there something bonus too... Um, at the con, you'll also there will be only like a limited to like maybe fifteen hundred prints. But uh, my exclusive Comic Con, uh, this bad boy, um, this is my What If Venom Possessed Optimus Prime variant that I illustrated, and this would be my exclusive Comic Con book for my my con. So uh, there you have it. That is my Comic Con. Galaxy Art Comic Con um, submission for Airborne Sapper Comic Fans contest entry. Really hope you enjoyed this video. And most definitely big congrats to you, man. You're just going to suppress way more subscribers. And you're already, uh, you know, you've been one of the pillars uh, to, our, to our community. So big congrats to you. So most definitely go subscribe to them. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Like this. Thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you guys think of my Comic Con. And until next time, Comic Brains out of here. Later, you guys.